Well, today I'm going to make a dessert using oranges. Since we got orange trees, got to come up with ways to use them. I'm going to make a cup out of this to hold the dessert. And um, the easiest way is to put it on its top and kind of see where it sets and then cut it. So. We need four oranges. These I washed because most of the ones that I use like this I picked up off the ground so they got dirt on us. Just wash them good. Sometimes I use a knife on here to uh, just get this started. I don't want to poke through the orange. What we need to do is save a cup of orange juice. Uh, anyway, it's all hauled out. Looks something like this. It's got a couple tears on it, but that'll be okay. Three more to go, and I'll be back. Okay, I've got the oranges all hollowed out here, and I'm going to get started on the rice. Could have probably started this before, or started it first, but I didn't. So. So you basically boil a cup of water. This is four tablespoons of short grain rice that's been rinsed. This is gonna boil covered. Five twenty-one. I'll get back here to the orange juice. Save these for the zest. Sometimes you need an extra orange to get enough juice because one of these was kind of pithy. Doesn't didn't have much juice in it. I'm sure there's different ways of doing this part, but good hands-on approach. Know your fruit. So I'm using my mixing bowl because it's deep and this colander doesn't drag the bottom. in there for sure. <clears throat> Set that 
this side, and this side, and we need this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, cook the rice until it's soft. Dump the orange juice in it and make some uh, vanilla pudding. So, that's what we'll be doing there. So, we'll be back. Now the directions on the rice is a cup of water, four tablespoons of short grain rice that's been rinsed, put it in there, bring it to a boil, cover it, reduce the heat, and cook it covered until it's soft. Okay, well the rice has been cooking for about 15 minutes and it's softened up. So we need a cup of uh, orange juice. Uh, quarter cup left over. Mm, man, that was good. So now we gotta bring this back up to a boil. <clears throat> and then we'll let it cook. After it starts boiling, we'll turn it down and we'll let it cook until the moisture is absorbed into the rice. It's going to take a while. Okay, so it's up to boiling and we can stir this. I don't think there's anything that says you can't keep it stirred. Probably stir as much as you think you need to. So I'm going to turn the heat down. And we'll be back. This has boiled down quite a bit. It's really thickened up quite a lot here, but still got a ways to go. It's been stirring it and you know it's slightly real low boil is where it's at. So, just checking in. Now that it's thickened up some more, I've turned the heat down, it's starting to stick a little bit to the bottom and you will probably have to stir it more often, so I've turned the heat down and, and stir it more often until it, uh, until I think it's about ready. Well, uh, that rice is looking like it's pretty done for. Just try a kernel. If there's anything firm in the middle, it's, it can still absorb some more water. So that can absorb a little bit more water. But uh, the last time I made these, I thought about putting some uh, little pieces of orange in with the mix. So, let me go ahead and Oops, wrong way. I'm thinking that's about done for.
down. I'm just going to cut this up. Got to be an easier way to do this, but I don't know what that is. again. What do you think, two cooks? You want to come here and try this and see what you think? Give me your expert opinion on the rice. Still absorb some moisture, do you think, or do you think it's probably this is probably about how I did it before, about like this, maybe a little bit, a little bit more. What? What? I tried it. That's kind of hot. I blew the other off. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of sour. Is it? There's no sugar added to any of this. The only sugar that's in here is whatever is in this. And it says there is 76 grams of sugar in this package. I'm going to call that done. So, what you do to finish it off is take an egg yolk, and uh, how nice that is, as much as it stands up, a nice fresh egg, and you like that, and I guess what I probably should use, that would be a spatula. Take your ball, doggy. And like so, and stir it in.
me to use your milk here? Yeah, it's in the door. Is, no. it, is it getting kind of old or is I it? I don't uh, know, Okay. Are you recording this? Yes, I am. And why are you talking March 5th. Two cups of milk. some fire on it I imagine so combine pudding mix and milk in a small saucepan stir well cook over medium low heat Well, we'll go ahead and get this cooked up and we'll be back. Make an extra creamy version. Oh, the pudding's done. I'll let that cool down some. Combine it into the bowl. Well, I dumped the vanilla pudding into the bowl, get it to cool down some. And of course, I have to try it too. So, I'm gonna mix this in. stretch now. Yeah, vanilla pudding is pretty good. It's got a good flavor, more kind of, I think maybe more old fashioned. More real. Of course, the egg didn't hurt any either. So, I got all that mixed up good. I'm just going to let it cool down. Maybe some, and then spoon it into the oranges and put them into the fridge. Well, I didn't have to wait too long. I think it's cooled down enough to scoop it into the oranges. Kind of tastes like orange tapioca pudding. I need to come up with a name for these. What about like, I don't know, orange sunshine or, I don't know. 
And you leave a bit of, little bit of room at the top because you're going to put um, whipped cream and some orange zest on it. Well, and so on and so forth. Well, they've been in the fridge cooling down. Just gonna take some whipping cream and uh, make some whipped cream. I just use half of this. Sugar. Vanilla extract. Mm. Whip it till it's done. Cream's done. So it's just a matter of spooning it on the top. Don't have to do them all, just the ones you're going to eat. Just a little zest on it. And voila. Enjoy.